Oh, and thank you for watching this lovely BTR 4th of 7 in the RX 580 Battle Series. Which one's the Mining King? Uh, today we're going over the Red Devil by Power Color. It's the Golden Sample Edition. This card's a beefy card. It's uh, three slots deep thanks to an extra thick heat sink and fans. Um, as far as the uh, performance of the cards go, performance of this card goes, it's the slowest of the other five uh, with a 1425 uh, clock speed on this one. Um, one thing I do want to bring up is our giveaway. It's time for hint number two. Make sure you watch all the videos to get all the hints. And then number seven, we're going to go ahead and announce what the giveaway is. But hint number two is the giveaway prize is cryptocurrency mining related. So that's your hint number two, folks. Now, without further ado, let's get to the unboxing of this bad boy. All right, let's open this beauty up. Tight. It's tight like a tiger. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, folks. For my horrible impressions. And there it is. You'll see what we mean about how beefy this card is. Look at that thing. Look how tall that card is there. Ta-da! And there you have it. Alright. So, there's your power connectors right there. And then for your inputs, got DVI, HDMI, DisplayPort, DisplayPort, and DisplayPort. So three DisplayPorts, HDMI, and DVI on this bad boy. Very nice. All right, we have our card installed. Let's go ahead and go over some of the stats and see see what, what, what we got with our card. So as you can see, we won the Samsung lottery on the RAM. Right there. Verified by hardware info and GPU. So that's really good. Um, this is the highest ASIC quality we've seen out of these cards at 86%. That's impressive. Really nice. Uh, so even though it's the uh, slowest from the GPU clock of uh, 1425, we uh, get the really high ASIC quality, which is which is awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, see how this thing mines with with all the stock settings going on here. All right, so we have 1425 and 2000. Um, we've got the fan. Um, auto disabled so we're gonna see just how hot it gets but um, as you can see we're getting 24.6 here so just right around I would say averaging out at uh, high 24.5 high 24.6 average looks like between the last uh, hash rates reported so not too bad and then the uh, wattage though look at this we are 156 watts right now that's pretty stinking high yeah look at that so this is some of the highest wattage use we've seen from the stock settings on the card so let's go ahead and make our modifications and, and see where we get with the, the modified BIOS and some afterburner tweaks all right, and here we are. All we've done now is simply flash the BIOS, and we changed, we copied the 1750 timings to the 2000, and uh, fired everything back up. And um, one thing right off the bat that I point out is, look at where our power water usage is now. We've we've jumped about 
almost 10 watts. We were at one high 156 and we're now up to almost 160 and they're pretty close to 166 now so we've jumped 10 watts just from the timing change. Um, temperature wise as well we've we've climbed a little bit above where we were and also you'll note that the fan uh, has uh, also kicked on because of that so um, all contributing to the power consumption as well but um, we are at almost 28 high 27.8.9 pretty close to 28 right there mega hashes per second just with the timing change in the BIOS uh, the timing flash change so um, everything else we haven't changed anything else in afterburner and yeah looks like we're climbing pretty pretty high on the uh, temperature gauge there we're at 70 now degrees Celsius so um, just let you get a look at everything else we've got going on here like I said we've kept everything else stock the only thing we change at this point is the bio settings we've time changed the timing or flash the timing changes from copy the 1750 values to 2000 so let's go ahead and um, tweak the afterburner settings and see what we can get this bad boy up to all right here we are with our afterburner tweaks in place and as you can see we got a 30.839 here, 30.838 here, 30.7, 30.8. So we're gonna we're gonna call this one a high 30.7 average card, which is really awesome. Um, so as you can see, we left our core clock at the 1425. Um, we boosted the memory clock to 2200 megahertz. We've undervolted all the way. Our cards running nice and cool now with the fans settings in place. Our power wattage has dropped significantly. As you can see, we're running at 140 now. Wattage with that under voltage in place. Uh, we are getting a few memory errors, but nothing that, to be concerned about. No, you know, any kind of sign of real instability, this would be number would be climbing by the thousands. So we're not, we're not worried about that much at all. Um, as you can tell, we've dropped in the, uh, the mega hashes here just surely because we are doing the, uh, using the cam studio to do the recording. So that that's typical for when you're using a little bit more of the the video processing power to do your recording so um, I'm not concerned about that we're gonna definitely call this the highest performing card out of the four cards we've reviewed thus far um, that 86% ASIC score ASIC score really really shines through now in our in our mega hashes so very happy with how the cards performing um, thank you guys so much for watching this fourth video in the in the seven video series please stay tuned for that fifth video coming out um, also, be sure to uh, subscribe and like like the video, subscribe to our channel, and, and leave some comments. You know, we, we monitor our comments really closely, and we, we love to respond to uh, viewers' comments and questions. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we look forward to bringing you many more awesome videos.